Hello everyone, today we are going to test this new soldering iron and build a 12 volt battery pack to see if it can power the soldering iron. So watch till the end of the video to see more things in detail. Let's get started. I got myself this soldering iron kit from Secure. Now let's see what's inside the bag. We have got a power adapter, a converter for European plugs, mini soldering iron stand, a USB type C cable, soldering tip, some soldering lead, XT60 to type C cable, user manual and finally the compact and smart soldering iron. The S99 iron fits in my palm and the USB port is on the rear end of the iron. The build quality of S99 is premium and compact as the soldering iron is intelligent having two buttons for the settings and navigation. As well as there is an OLED display of 128 by 32 pixels to show the values and menus. Let's take a closer look at the soldering tip. It seems like it is a C245 type tip and just push it inward to install the tip. Now I'm just preparing the power adapter for my first test with the soldering iron. They said it is a 65 watt PD and QC3 adapter and the specs of the adapter is given for you. The cable has some kind of circuit inside which I think is for the protocol and LED driving. Powering the soldering iron and no explosion, that's great. Here the tip temperature input voltage is seen on the display. Pressing the buttons will change the temperature range from 50 degree to 500 degree Celsius. I kept the temperature to 300 degrees and long pressed the lift button. The heating started and within 7 seconds the tip reached 300 degrees Celsius. Here is the menu when you press and hold the right button, short press will select the menu items and long press will enter the item. You can adjust the OLED brightness from here. S99 is more advanced now with upgradable firmware. Press both buttons together to exit the menu. For more functions you can see the S99 manual, it's not that difficult I think. I'll use this 18650 batteries to make a 12 volt battery pack. So I put 3 of them in the holder and they are fresh 2500 mAh capacity. I'll set the S99 temperature to 300 degrees and start soldering. It was difficult at first so I increased the temperature to 400 degrees and it worked nicely. Please note that soldering the lithium ion cells is not a good idea but for me it works when I quickly solder them to avoid overheating. I'll connect the BMS module according to the diagram and solder two wires for the power terminal. Finally the battery pack is ready. I have added the XT60 connector with the battery pack so I can use it to power the soldering iron with the given power connector. Again there is nothing burning so the idea worked well. Let's see how long it takes to reach 300 degrees from 30 degrees Celsius. With the battery pack added this soldering iron will be very portable for me also it will be very helpful when I am working outdoors. Seventeen seconds, not bad, I should say. But I'll try with some thick PCB tracks. Let me grab a circuit board. The solder is melting very well. Perhaps I should say it has passed my test. 
those who watched till the last i would like to thank you for your patience and feel free to ask me anything about s99 also you can visit the link in the description to find the official s99 see you till my next video